y'all. This is um, Grasshopper Lux video blog again. Um, I wanted to come back and show you my second attempt at a smash book or junk journal. Um, Got to decide what I want to call these, but I am really excited about how this one turned out. Um, this one is kind of an all about dogs book. Um, I adopted a very sweet little Shih Tzu um, about a year ago and wanted to do a little bit of book about um, a little bit about our first year together and that way when he's old and gray I can look back at it and see how cute he was when he was a three-year-old newbie in my house so I used the spoiled rotten um, uh, stack by made by the paper studio and it's great it, and there's plenty left obviously and it also because it was 12 by 12 it gave me lots of room to do um, to use the scraps for other things. So, um, I did a little differently than I did last time. The front and back covers are made with chipboard and then I covered the chipboard with the paper. And, um, and then the inside I still use the cardstock um, and then I put the cardstock back to back so that it would be um, pretty thick. But I like the idea that the front and back covers are just a little bit thicker than the inside. So this is um, the front cover of the book. I think it's super cute. It says, In the Dog House. And then on the inside cover, what I did was, instead of just putting one sheet of paper here, I took a piece of paper and I cut strips out of it. And then I made, I put the strips like um, kind of overlapping each other and they're all different widths so that it's not just like I've said before I really um, like the idea of making things just a little bit wacky so um, I did that and then this is a doghouse which I think is super cute with the in the doghouse theme so a lot of the pages I've left blank um, and I thought maybe I can um, as I'm going I want I have some journaling stickers and things that I can add to it but um, I wanted to give myself a little leeway of what to put in here and I will promise to um, show you the book when I've got it filled up so you can see how I did it but here's the second page little stickers here and these stickers have the foam on them so they're pop-ups and I really like that um, and here's a piece of scrap paper from and I actually it was um, a piece of scrap that I had messed up the first attempt at the front cover with and so I made a scrap out of it to make just a cute little kind of tag here um, and then this is probably my favorite piece in the book, and I definitely will be using this type of thing over and over again. Um, this is just an envelope, a plain paper envelope. Nothing special about it. I cut the top off of it, and then with a piece of scrap from another one of my pages, I cut out a, um, a paper that would go easily in and out of this. And then from this this little tag up here is actually it's like a little metal button and it's got um, little brads on the back of it to hold it in and I just punched a hole and put the brads on it and it, it kind of moves a little so it's not it's not just stiff it's super cute and I think that this was um, spare parts was was the brand that I got that from and I'm really glad I got it I think it, it kind of is perfect for this for this book so um, here are some more pages, um, another blank page, um, and then here up at the top I put a cute little um, journaling tag and this is a little doggy tag. Another blank page right here, blank over here for pictures and journaling. This is another one of the tags, I put it kind of little in the middle and it's got a journaling tag and it also says um, to err is human, to forgive is canine, which I think is perfect. And another blank page, here on this page I put one of the pop-up stickers that says bad to the bone, which I love because my sweet dog has a um, collar that says bad to the bone, it's a Harley, Harley Davidson collar. and it's perfect because he's just he's not bad to the bone at all he's very sweet so um, I think that's just cute and then another little tag down here um, I think I made this one a little bigger to put a picture on and then on this page a little journaling spot and a sticker 
and on this one um, I like that this is a little busy and I put a vellum tag sticker down here just to have a place to write on since the page is so busy on the back cover I did just put a plain piece of paper it was a scrap left over from the front cover so it kind of pulls that together a little and then the back cover it just it has woof all over it it's very cute um, I am still learning about the spiral binding I'm not great at it yet but I've definitely gotten better from my first attempt this one does not look as bad as the last one did um, I still did the five and five part of that is because it's hard for me to um, punch the holes after a while it gets old um, and part of it is just I really like the way it looks I love how it looks when you put the extra tags in it um, especially when you do something like that so that you can put the tags in different spots and it I just think it it adds a little to the way that the book looks um, and I used the Cropodile, which is a new toy that I got. Um, I found it at Hobby Lobby. I think it was $33, and I had a 40% off coupon that they allowed me to use. And so I got a great deal on it. Um, my only concern with that is that it only allows a um, 1 8th or 3 16th hole punch. And obviously, if I ever want to make a bigger journal with larger uh, spiral bindings, I'm going to need something bigger than that. But with the Cropodile, I also was able to put brads here on this front cover, and I also did it on the back cover. Um, I didn't put it on the pages inside the book, but I do think that using it on the front and back cover allows it to look just a little bit more professional and a little bit nicer. So um, I think that this one turned out great. I'm very excited about it. Um, if you ever want a tutorial on how I do any of this um, crafting, I know for me, Sometimes I don't really want to take a class. I might not even listen to the entire tutorial, but it's nice to kind of have an idea of where people start um, or get an idea off of somebody else and then make it your own, which is kind of what I'm doing here. So I hope that you're enjoying my video blog. And once again, it's called Grasshopper Luck on YouTube. And I'm really enjoying sharing this with you. So um, come back and visit anytime. And, and feel free to send me an email at grasshopperluck at gmail.com and I will respond to you. I can pretty much guarantee a response within 24 hours. So um, anyway, I'm really glad that you came and thank you so much and have a great day.